Tesla CEO Elon Musk finally announced the start of production of the long-awaited Tesla semi-truck with deliveries to Pepsi on December 1st. He added that Tesla semi has 500 mile range and is super fun to drive. In December 2017, Pepsi ordered 100 of the all-electric Class 8 trucks from Tesla a month after it had been announced. This is why Tesla CEO Elon Musk said it was about last week, last evening. Excited to announce the start of production of Tesla semi-truck with deliveries to Pepsi on December 1st, Musk tweeted last night. December 1st is only about a month and a half away or two months away. The fully loaded Tesla Semi can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, has three independent motors on its rear axle and with remote diagnostics over the air software updates and fewer moving parts enable operators to spend less time at service centers. During an interview with CNBC, Jim Cramer, PepsiCo CEO Raymond Lagorta said that the first deliveries of the Tesla Semi for the soft drink company would be starting in quarter four although he said this last year he got the right quarter but the wrong year actually transportation is about 10 percent of our overall gas emissions so it's important and we're working on different solutions we replace our fleet regularly every 10 years more or less that's the life of a truck we're already starting to buy electric trucks actually from tesla i don't want to promote anybody but that's the brand that we're using so far and we're getting our first deliveries this quarter four so it's something we started a few years ago we're working with tesla said la Guerta. this was in 2021 but he got the quarter right so all throughout 2022, Tesla has been preparing Pepsi for the arrival of the new semis. Tesla installed several mega chargers at the company's Modesto, California plant with a reported output of 1.5 megawatt. Tesla also shared new photos of the semi recently on its website. The newly added high-resolution photos reveal more details than Tesla older photos did. You can see... Um, the buttons for example for the deck lights for example you can view those um, in tesla's website if you haven't seen or you look at my one of my previous videos where i did a video report on specific new tesla designs tesla semi designs that tesla updated after recent tweets from elon musk but it's exciting to see tesla semi finally being delivered now when you drive on highways you will see lots of tesla semis uh, by pepsico and i'm sure other companies will join now PepsiCo, uh, Pepsi CEO said that the truck's lifestyle is about 10 years and they change the, their trucks every 10 years. They upgrade their fleet. I wonder what would be the life of a Tesla semi-truck? 10 years, less or more? Why less? Why more? Please let me know in the comment section below on what you think about this new revolution that in tracking industry that Tesla will bring. I look forward to reading your comments and responding them. Thanks for watching and sharing. Tesla just achieved a new record in Norway. Norway is a very important market for Tesla and a very significant one. Tesla Model Y became the overall sales champion in Norway in September, registering four times as many units as vehicles with internal combustion engines were sold combined the closest competitor was volkswagen id4 with over 2000 units behind underscoring model y's dominance september ended and sales reports began to come from the automotive markets around the world the numbers from norway are impressive as the country is moving the fastest toward a full transition from gas cars to electric cars last month electric vehicles accounted for 89.1 percent of the country's market of which 77.7 percent .7 were battery electric vehicles and 11.4 percent were phevs according to data obtained by clean technica this represents a marginal decrease from 91.5 percent year to year due to the production difficulties rising from the difficult geopolitical situations covid um, lockdowns in china and um, which were uh, greatly affected uh, actually which greatly affected tesla despite the slight decline in sales the share of battery electric vehicles has risen while the share of plug-in hybrids has declined the total sales of all vehicles amounted to 
1,546 units. Sales of internal combustion engines vehicles continued to lose volume with 781 units sold in September compared to 956 units in September 2021. Tesla regains its strongest position in Norwegian automotive market after a weak start to the quarter. Tesla Model Y became the absolute and unattainable sales leader from 3,063 registered cars. That is four times the sales of gas vehicles in whole month and almost four times the sales of its closest competitor. In second place with 903 units was Volkswagen ID4. The manufacturer was unable to increase production and deliver more cars to the country, so it was far behind Tesla Model Y. In third place was Škoda Enyaq with 620 sales, only a few units ahead of another model from Tesla. Model 3 with 602 sales came in fourth place. Polestar 2 finished with 343 units. The overall table for quarter three looks almost the same as in September. Tesla Model Y is the first place with 3,443 electric vehicles. In second place is Volkswagen ID4 with 2,991 cars. In third place, Škoda Enyaq with 1,981 and 1,151 is Tesla Model 3. So exciting news from uh, Norway. I'm surprised how many electric vehicles Norway sells and how many gas car Norway says now in a month. Have a great day. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing your social media. Hyundai Ioniq 5 has a bigger battery and bigger performance, but there is a catch. Hyundai has upped the battery size on its Ioniq 5 from 72.6 kilowatt to 77.4 kilowatt hours, electric motor output from 225 to 231 kilowatt hour, and lots of other specs. That's good news that Hyundai has upped the specs of its Ioniq 5 EV. The bad news is that you'll have to buy the flashing Ionic 5 limited all-wheel drive to get the upgrades, which sell at an increased price. A limited all-wheel drive version continues with the smaller battery and power output. The same powertrain is also available in entry-level specifications. The battery and power upgrade brings the Ionic 5 into line with, uh, with the sister but still rival Kia EV6, which was launched with the 77.4 kilowatt hour unit from the start. The bigger battery is more about the extra power than increased range. Keep that in mind. The Ionic 5 Limited All Wheel Drive achieves 454 kilometers on WLTP test cycle, 6 kilometers short of the smaller battery version. So that's the difference. The new top model Ionic 5 gets some extra kit to further justify the higher price. It now comes with a three pin plug in the cabin to power electric devices, again, matching the Kia and the new heads up display with augmented reality. There are now three different battery sizes for Ionic 5 buyers to choose from. Therefore, when you go and buy an Ionic 5, look for the all the specs and see if it's worth to pay the extra price. Because after you realize the specs, you may see that the difference is not much and the difference may be in a different direction, in, in favor of different direction. So look for all these things before you buy an Ionic 5, which I hear is a great car and I hear lots of good comments about our Honda Ionic 5. And uh, in case one of you is an Ionic 5 owner, has bought or test driven that, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Or um, how do you think it um, competes with Tesla? Let me know in your comments in the comment section below, friends. Thanks for watching and thanks for sharing in social media.